Shut up and sit down. Hello again, gang. Colin here at Festa 67's workshop for another kit review. Right, this time it is a Revel 148 scale Eurofighter Typhoon single seater. Kit number 04568 for those of you on scale mates, if you are. Add us as a mate, I'm on there under the same name, Festa 67's workshop. Ravel box, got your usual box art on the uh, sides. Some pictures of other kits in their, their range. Some instructions and warnings in English. And it's the usual end opener. Yeah. Mine's all wrapped in bubble wrap because I bought this off of a mate called Alan. So thank you, Alan. Finally getting around to doing this one at some point. So if you're still about and you want to watch, feel free. Now, <coughs> what's a big head? <clears throat> For those of you that don't know this, it's a rather sexy photo etch load of upgrade stuff courtesy of Vincent over at Mr. Loft's model making. He got me in a using this stuff for this build and there's missiles and you know all kinds of photo etch goodies cockpit detail upset uh, jet intakes masking sets a step to get in and out the aircraft so loads of goodies that come with loads of instructions uh, loads of photo etch bending so mike jolly has uh, sent me a photo etch bending tool so I'll be using that on this <laughs> so thank you very much Mike um, he won't mind me giving him a plug there uh, decal sheets are in there uh, so yeah so it's a nice big head set and then you've got your sprues with your clear parts, some cockpit bits and bobs, your fuselage, wings, and missiles, bombs, big booms, big booms. Now, this is a challenging kit <coughs> in some respects because I've been on, <laughs> yeah, I've been on Google and apparently how can i word this being that this is a family video um apparently there are some unique fit issues around the engine intakes now there is a resin set available <coughs> and i can hear vincent rocking in his chair now go and get it get it get it get it well i could do but I ain't going to, because I reckon with a bit of fettling and a bit of swearing, which I'll edit out, and a bit of careful bleeping in the video, I reckon that we can uh, make something out of it. But we got the instructions in the obligatory ring binder, because I've got a build sequence that I'm sticking to. Uh, usual instructions there sprue diagrams here's all the cockpit stuff and as I do the photo etch I'll explain to you what the photo etch is how it's applied and what you have to do to prepare the kit for it to be applied so quite a bit now these section 9 let's get my rather bent pointy stick out here my little skeletal hand these are the offending bit and they go underneath the wing into the fuselage and apparently <coughs> excuse me they are an absolute pig's ear to fit and get right and to look right and 
it's kind of put me off of doing the build but yeah i'm kind of up for it i mean that's what it's supposed to look like this nice neat rectangular thing underneath here but if you look at some of the photographs on google it will stop you wanting to build this kit which is not what we're not about yeah, as you can probably tell by some of my previous builds i've got quite a bit of ravel in my stash not because i'm a lover of it it's just i'm on a bit of a campaign of people are letting me know what are really bad kits i'm like a complete wazzock i'm going out and buying them thinking oh they can't be that bad and there's a way of making them work and and that's what these videos are about because if it's your first kit and you've bought that and it ain't going together well and it's ended up on the shelf of doom never to be completed that could put you off this hobby forever and that's where i come in so hopefully we can help you out and improve your skills now this is the photo etch it will tell you what you need to get rid of so the molded seat belts get sanded off nice clean cushion and then you put the resin ones on why would you sand off a set of seat belts to put a set of resin ones on i hear you ask or photo etch uh, it's because the details a lot crisper a lot neater it's already painted and it looks the nuts you know you can't replicate the lcds and things like that as well as they can on this scale so go for it you know you're talking 10 quid tops so yeah there's the step and then these are the uh, remove before flight that go on all the missiles and that and i plan to do this on display on an air on a bit of air airfield vignette with the step ladder out and all of that lot so the pilot's about to get in but all of the stuff's hanging on the missiles and it just yeah it's been prepared for flight so that my friends <coughs> excuse me is a quick review of the Ravel Eurofighter Typhoon in 148 scout just bang me head on me camera mount there to really make you all feel a bit seasick apologies so tune in for the next one no idea what it will be um, have a look at the end credits feel free to subscribe to me channel me Facebook groups etc and join me for a, a, a wee modeling journey I look forward to hearing from you all thank you for watching bye bye